What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a stipulation draft by Jojo MKE, longtime supporter. Uh, we are doing moving draft in honor of my recent move. Must take cards that have movement in the artwork. Nothing standing still or in place. Fixing is an exception. And uh, she did mention that I can use my best judgment. Um, so this is actually... I mean, Yorgan looks like he's definitely he's definitely flying. So that's I mean that's easy. Siege. There's definitely movement happening there. I think we're just taking Yorion. I kind of like Yorion here, and also it doesn't commit us to a single color. Um, Polluted Delta seems pretty good, no matter what we want to take. Heroes Downfall was also an option. It definitely looked like that dude's hand was coming straight down. I'm gonna take Polluted Delta as our as our fixing here. Um, Ashiok has absolutely no movement in it whatsoever, which is pretty unfortunate. Dream Trawler, <laughs> one of our favorite cards, is definitely moving along the water here. Um, Broodmoth, Broodmoth is flying around. Um, these two don't look terribly movement oriented. Cyclonic Rift also definitely moving. I'm going to take the Dream Trawler because I just absolutely love it. And it's pretty clearly moving, so... Um, hmm. this guy's pr looks like the clouds are going this way so it looks like he's coming up uh teferi there's definitely movement in this picture like obviously these are coming forward wasn't there a subset that you had to draft esper twice in a row as well <laughs> yeah yeah we're just gonna fulfill that as well i think we'll take teferi Corsair is not moving at all. Maelstrom Pulse has movement in it for sure. Kaya's Guile also very, very movement oriented. Um, this is actually one of our preferred picks in this pack, and he's definitely slashing this sword. Like, there's even action, there's action lines in here, so I'm going to take this Disallow, because I don't think anything else is even going to be that good for us. Maybe Zealous Conscripts? Which there is movement on, for sure. That's a definite swoop. <laughs> Super Fritz, what time do you work tomorrow, buddy? Um... We could just be blue white. Three to ten. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, oh, it's also early. So I, I I keep thinking it's later, but Katie went to bed early because she was exhausted. So, um, I, I love Soren. Obviously, you guys know that, but I think we're, we're gonna take a hidden dragon slayer because it's he's clearly about to swing this sword, uh, and Soren is not moving whatsoever. I'm gonna take Colonnade because I don't feel like being three colors if we don't have to be right now. And fixing and colonnades clearly moving as well, so
Uh, Quarantine Field has movement. This is definitely floating around, and Spell Queller is kind of cute as well. Definitely movement here. I think I do like Quarantine Field better. Blessed Alliance is probably fine, and there's definitely a hand going up, a spirit back here, and some, some light coming out of this, so I can definitely see some movement here. Just thinking Goblet Shrine. Like we can get both colors with it, so that's a pretty reasonable. I'm glad it came back actually. Well. Um, there is smoke coming off of Luris, so I assume that's movement, and nothing else is really moving in this pack, so I'll take Luris. We can also use we can also get back hidden dragon slayer if we get the other two drops. Oh, uh, Kaya's Guile is probably the most movement card. Disenchant also got some stuff coming off. We'll just take the Guile. This guy's slamming open this door. You're not doing anything. We'll just take the Crypt Breaker. Uh, you're kind of standing still, and this has got some stuff in the background, so... Champion of Wits has some magic coming out of his hand. I have to assume that's movement. Flicker Wisp, I don't know what this is doing. <laughs> I assume it's flying. Conclave Tribunal, probably not much movement in that image. I think Champion's probably the only thing we can take here. Gristlebrand, I have no idea if this dude's moving, nor do I want to even take a Gristlebrand. So. Sleight of Hand. Actually, Sleight of Hand's not bad. I mean, he's he's clearly stealing this thing. Yeah, I'll take a sleight of hand. Hmm. Solemn Simulacrum, there is sand coming through this, so that is clearly movement as well. Elspeth Conquers Death is great, but since it's a actual painting, I don't think we can consider that movement. I don't think Alesha Norn is going anywhere, but she might be in walking because she does have a leg forward. I'm going to take the Solemn. I think it's probably the clearest example of movement. Uh, probably just take Sea Chrome Coast here. I think Oblivion Ring is probably the pick there. Thing in the Ice is definitely not moving. I agree. Um, I mean, Lingering Souls are definitely floating away here. I'm going to take these Lingering Souls. Lots of direction going on there. Interesting. This pack's not great. I don't care about Oust. I don't care about Spectral. I think we'll probably just take Reflecting Pool to have to avoid anything that's in this pack. It's not super in encouraging or impressive. Spark Double? There's definitely movement here. They're definitely casting spells with those hands. Um, 
Hangerback Walker, it has Walker in the name. I think you can kind of assume that thing's walking. I don't know what's going on here. I think it's probably Spark Double. Copying like Solemn or Teferi or Dream Trawler seems pretty decent. Um, I don't, I can't see Lyra moving here. I, I'm going to take Stratus Dancer because this thing is clearly a dancing and be like coming out of some sort of portal. Hmm. I don't think anything in this pack's moving, really. I think we'll just take Revoker? Or Spellskite? Actually, Spellskite's probably not bad. And it looks like this is about to explode, so there's definitely, like, energy movement. Um... Quadruple black card does seem solid. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna take the tribunal. Um, reason being that they're obviously not just holding this in the air; they're definitely gonna uh, judge this person. So, I mean, there's way more dynamic movement on the other two, but no, there's nothing I can take on that. Niv Mizzet is probably the pick. That's probably the most movement, right? These guys are also fighting. Let's take the. We'll take this. These guys are. These guys are getting their move on. Oh, uh, this gets a godless shrine. We'll take the fixing land for now. That dude is definitely moving into that pit. Um, this guy's throwing some bones. So sure, this is, might even be playable. All right, not bad. And this is actually tough to to navigate here. Shark Typhoon is definitely moving. Riftwing Cloudskate seems good, especially with like a Yorion. So it's also definitely moving. <laughs> like it's coming out of the out of the sea. It's a good Teferi. So I'm just gonna clarify this step real quick. Let's see, because I have movement in the artwork. Nothing standing still or in place. So I would actually use a defense here that the leaves are literally falling off the tree. And unless they're sitting in thin air, thin air, there's a bunch of leaves, man. The antibody, there are leaves moving on Tef. That's literally what, yeah, that's literally what I'm saying. So I'm going to take it. I feel like that's, uh, see, like I wouldn't take this. Well, I mean, you can assume the sun's moving, but you're not like seeing it in, in motion. Um... Might just be water there, so you can play the read the bones. I, I I would assume this waterfall is flowing though. Now that, that's that's the thing I would assume. Nothing here I can't see. Looter kind of looks like he's moving, but it's hard to it's hard. He could just be standing still. So I think I'm just gonna go with watery grave here. The sun is literally approaching. You know what? Maybe you're onto something. Way to steal his money. Uh, it's her money. And yeah, I'm actually gonna take search, I think. Hmm. I think the fact that this is declaration in stone means they're not moving. Soren's not moving. Gear Hulk is not moving. Um I, I think this remand is probably something. Like this guy's casting a spell. Atris is telling people to hush. Selfless Spirit just looks like he's standing there. I think it's either Master or Remand in terms of the most movement. I think it's probably Remand. I 
Like, what do we have? Just read the bones as far as black cards go? Um, they're just kind of standing there. Gadwick is actually making this book float. Um, is this wall moving? I don't even, I can't even tell actually. I mean, this guy's definitely moving. Attempt to take Shambling Vent. It gives us a second or third black source. We have Godless Shrine, Pluto Delta. I think it might just be Gadwick. I mean, Gadwick is definitely, he's in like, he's definitely coming forward and like holding this book up. Yeah, we'll just take the Gadwick. Misty's not bad, but we have nothing we can really get with it yet. I mean, I don't think we're a Thassa deck. I also don't... Like, these are like constellations, so they're not like super... This guy's definitely ready to, like, slice somebody up. So I'm just going to take Mirror and Crusader. I think Faith's Fetters is the opposite of movement. Um, Elspeth's... It, there's clearly wind here. This is not how a cape naturally lays. I can definitely see taking Elspeth here. Um... They're both kind of standing there, though. It might just be Dark Slick Shores. Like, Ral's also standing there. Masquerum's kind of standing there. None of these actually have very much movement in them. This guy's just holding his hands up. There's no spell being cast. I'm going to think that Elspeth just because I don't think this pack is particularly movement-centric. This guy's also just standing there. I think this is implied that the horse is moving. This is dropping something and holding something else. I mean, there's definitely movement here. Like, this is definitely falling. Yeah, that's fine. Plains Forest. That's an option. I don't think Sun Titan is doing anything. I think this is a decent Sun Titan deck. I also don't think Triumph does anything for us. Dark Confidant's not moving. He's just holding his hand up. Same thing here. Um, yeah, there's not much movement here. I'll just take Sun Titan because there are birds that are clearly moving in this card. So This guy is literally just standing there looking. Whereas Marshall Koo, this dude is easily running forward. So I'm just going to take the... Also, Murderous Cut is clearly... There's definitely action lines. Maybe I'll just take Murderous Cut. Um, he goes forth to steal secrets instead. Maybe this guy's fine. He's moving through the mists. Um, you're standing there. You're standing there. You're standing there. I don't think any of these have real movement in them. Hmm. <laughs> Two characters standing there in a fixing land. That's decent because we took a murderous cut, so we also have a lot of cards to cut here. But I wanted to get a, a good number of things for Lurus, and we got Hidden Dragon Slayer, Stratus Dancer, Spell Skite, Search, and Looter, which is kind of nice. I don't think Soren was drawing his sword, I actually think he's just holding his sword. It's already drawn. No, you're maybe you're right, actually. Interesting. Yeah, I'll just take the Erebos. Yeah, maybe he was... Wow, Maskarm last pick? Jeez. Yeah, looks like he's drawn his sword. Hmm. Can I suggest it with a family feud theme? That seems terrible. We have lots of cuts to make. Also, Sun Titan is just as good as Luris. If we're, if Luris is good, Sun Titan is probably also decent. I don't think it's better than, like, Elspeth or Dream Trawler, though. It was <laughs> sarcasm, but thanks for... Well, I mean, the problem is, like, people do suggest stuff like that, and it's really hard to do. Like, to the point of, like... 
this is more work than it is fun. And I, I try to avoid stuff like that. Like, if I know I'm not going to have a good time doing it, then I'm just like, let's come up with something else. <laughs> oh, what up, J-Link? Okay, 27 cards. Don't care about Blessed Alliance. Um... Probably cut Sun Titan here. I think Gadwick's actually a pretty decent draw engine. We could just cut the black, but we also have Shambling Vent, Delta, and Godless Shrine. Windswept Teeth also gets Godless Shrine. Oh yeah, let's make Lurus a companion. So then we take out this, 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 this. Uh, sort by converted mana cost. Converted mana cost is this. Mirror Crusader could probably just be sideboard. Yorion blinks Riftwing successfully. It bring it blinks Solemn Simulacrum. That's pretty much it. Yorion's just not a, a, a super impressive here. All right, we'll play it like this. We, have, we only have ten creatures, but we also have um, Elspeth, which makes creatures. Lingering Souls. We do have Declaration in Stone, too. Okay, Sea Chrome, Celestial. Reflecting Pool, I don't know if it's that good. I guess it is a double white. Do I start Baldur's Gate 3 and Risk Not Sleeping? Is, is it out? I, th I think we're just going to play one Swamp. Oh, it came out today. Interesting. I never know when games come out. So this is five, six, seven, eight. Nah, it's not eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, and ten. Yeah, this seems good. All right. Kerwood, have a good night, buddy. Baldur's Gate came out today. That's interesting. Maybe I get Baldur's Gate and I play it. Oh, the first article comes up. I played 15 hours of Baldur's Gate 3 early access and I want them back. Oh, no. Are there reviews yet? Baldur's Gate 3. Let's play first. Oh wow, no blue sources? I'm gonna keep it because the rounds of drawn on blue sources is decent when we have like 10. Beyond the good looks of the graphics, I haven't found much in Baldur's Gate 3 to recommend it. Your character and party feel like insignificant gnats and are forced by circumstances to do and see awful things that are not powerful enough to change. Interesting. But then there's some other good reviews, so it's kind of a mix. Come on, let me loot. Looty McTooty. I just want a blue source. And then we're good to go. Nailed it. Never didn't have it. Well, sometimes you didn't have it. I guess that's true.
Let's get rid of an swamp. This is nice because he's drawing an excessive amount of land, so. Wow, they're just going to kill my land immediately? That's pretty wild. Cause game to crash by alt tabbing. Oh man. First day is nice. Uh, let's go see Chrome Coast. Man, Gonti, huh? Here today, gone tomorrow. Draw a card. Um, well, we definitely want to play Teferi here. So I'll pitch a Solemn. Interesting. I actually think we don't care about that. So we can just go Teferi. One, two, three, four, five. Plus, plus, that's a, that's a nice pitch. Man, we are cycling through, boys. Um, I actually kind of like Gadwick here. Let's get rid of Island, that's fine. Hmm. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Tefri can go to three. Brawl, sure. Draw. Conclave Tribunalo. See, like this is why I don't like looting. I feel like I'm throwing away good cards here. Uh, let's actually keep a blue up. Yeah, we're going to remand this thing. Okay, let's draw another card. <laughs> uh, let's draw another card. I kind of want to stop drawing cards now. Two Teferis. Seems good. This is the most cards I've ever drawn. Oh, uh, I've played over 160 hours of Fallout 4 and basically no survival mode. I just don't enjoy survival mode. I feel like it's too much micromanaging and like it's not a part of the game I enjoy where I'm like oh I have to eat I have to drink I have to do all these things what is this negative 10 take two turns after this one Wow, 
taking two turns seems really good here. Just Gaunty, huh? Yeah, okay. So we just take three turns in a row. We just have to not die. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, okay. Oh, we also get the ultimate Tef right here, so that's pretty good. Take two turns after this one. Uh, get Lingering Souls back. search here. I think it's fine. Oh, they have condescend? Sure, that's fine. I don't care about that. Tap out for what? Thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. So we get to swing for seven, and then seven. So seven and then fourteen. Yeah, we're really just dead. They're just dead here. Um. Okay, we win the game. Unforgiven with the bits. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you for the support. Wow, that, this was a lot of card drawing. Oh, boy. Sort by converted mana cost. Converted mana cost is this. I like Mirror Crusader actually. It seems fine here. Man, we took two turns of Teferi, then we got to ultimate other Teferi. We ultimated both Teferis in that game. God, we drew so many cards, dude. That's insane. It's gonna submit a forty one. Uh, snap keep, we get Godless Shrine. It turns everything on, which is really nice. Then we get to get Riffwing into Remand. 
into Solemn? Wow, this is a really good hand. Dude, time out for what I agree. I actually really love the Live the Dream Cube. It was probably one of my favorites. I can also just read the bones next turn, but I think we're just keeping Remand up. Romando Calrissian. Yeah, because if they have like condescend or something, I don't really feel like getting condescended on. That's a good dude. One, two, three, four. Let's go solemn. Yes. Another white source. And then if they tap out for Atris, we just get to go Teferi and Riffling Cloudscape. That's pretty cool. Bribery. Dream Trawler seems good here. Yep, that's a beating. Does not do much here. Mm, boy. That is a thing, isn't it? Hoisted by our own petard. Wow, this hand seems great until they just bribery for uh, for Dream Trawler. Yeah, man, no blocks. I don't have any creatures that can block this. So, while I appreciate you asking, <laughs> you're really just being rude right now. You got it. Hmm, one, two, three, four. Eh, spark double. Just gonna play spell skate instead here. I mean, next time we can double block with cloud skate, and that's kind of cool, but. God, dude. Freaking dream trawler, man. I mean, wait, did I attack their... F wait, what happened? I, I meant to attack the friggin' Ashiok with these two. Wow, that's brutal. 
Yep, this game's probably over because of that. I was like, why is that shock at seven? Oh, I don't know. Why not? <sighs> Hex proof is a cool mechanic. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we should have tapped one guy so we could factor fiction. It's a clock rift. Um, yeah, we're just gonna scoop here. I just can't, I, I mean like, it's really frustrating to have to deal with your own friggin' dream trawler. Let's bring in Blessed Alliance. Yeah, that's what Alliance is. Yeah, I'll take Spell Sky out. Sure. Yeah, we'll keep it. Black source would be great here. Where are my black source at? Oh, good. Your, your favorite and mine. And I have nothing to do about it. Well, good run, good run. One down. Yeah, I may just make a rat. Let's let's not pretend like we're I mean if they make enough rats we can Elspeth, which is pretty cool. Is it not? Oh, that's what you did. You did that clip. I don't actually know. Yep. Ooh, it's interesting. One, two, three, four, five. Um. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I don't want a murderous cut, because then we take 12. Or not murderous cut, read the bones, rather. Um, just going to keep murderous cut and factor fiction up. Non-creature. Oh, wow. God, Affinity is like the historian here. Choose this one. One, two, three, four. Oh boy. Yep, two games in a row. So fucking stupid. <laughs> My kingdom for a wrath of God. Like we're taking five from this, we go to six. They have two they have two rats. It's really frustrating. Uh, yeah, maybe they play an Anthem Effect next turn. I mean, if they make a rat, we're taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're dead, right? So, if they have a 2-mana removal spell and a rat, I mean, otherwise they can just kill Elspeth. It's so stupid that you have to have a fucking board wipe to get rid of this. Like, this is why I drafted it, because it's really good. Elspeth blocks rats for one turn until they kill Elspeth next turn with Dream Trawler. Um, the problem is I have no real answer outside of Elspeth, so. Cool. Must be nice. Da -da 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 -da. In hindsight, we could have taken out Dream Trawler, but I just, it's weird, like, I feel like it's, like, we have the same odds of drawing Dream Trawler as they do of drawing Bribery. And we're drawing a, a lot more cards. But it's interesting because it's like, if we know it's an auto-lose when they draw it, like, maybe we don't play it. But then, like, is it equally an auto-lose for them if we have Dream Trawler? I don't know. I think there's definitely a a discussion to be had. Hold on. Come on, come in. No, go lay down. <clears throat> Hunter's causing a ruckus in here. I actually don't think I don't think our deck is bad at all. Yeah, we'll keep this on the play with Read the Bones for sure. Also got a little man creeping around in here. Thank you. Roberto Friday, thank you for the thank you for the thank sub. You. Oh, antibody, thank you for the gifted subs, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Is Watson feeling better? He's recovering. Huh. 
I'm watching a video of you on YouTube. No, we're not activating that. Oh, that's sad. I'm having a sad time. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I don't have a single blue source. Um, bottom this, top this. I like it. And now we can keep up brand and factor fiction next turn. What a deal. Give me a quest. All right. <clears throat> pass the turn, pa pass the turn. Wow, they have forest, they have four colors right now. Oh, Clothis? Fuck. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a good hit. So I don't care about Bloodbird Elf. I think we're going to Conclave Tribunal the Clothis. Said playing a deck similar to your last one, I'm like, anything with Clothes has been pretty sweet. Um, I don't want to Tef free Bloodbraid Elf because then they just get another Bloodbraid Elf, and that's the, not the really the best card to give them multiple castings of. Aside from that, they can also just kill Tefri with Creeping Tar Pit, so we have to look at all the factors here. I kind of want to keep Remand up for when we do Tefri. I think we just let everything here resolve, which is fine. Another thing we do is actually block with Shambling Vent. With the exception of Game 3. Well, yes. I mean, I could just block here. Because it gets it off the board, and then we also get rid of Clothis next turn. Uh, doesn't seem great. I think we just take it in Factor Fiction. Split him up. Uh, quarantine field actually seems fantastic. So does Lingering Souls. Lingering Souls going to the graveyard is great for us, too. Jeez. All right. <clears throat> we could Lingering Souls twice. This is a decent split. Um, Because I want the quarantine field and I also want the Lingering Souls, but... I think we have to take Quarantine Field. And we still get to cast Lingering Souls. That's interesting. So we can actually Lingering Souls, Conclave Tribunal, play Colonnade, right? That seems decent, and it gets us two blockers down. Not this turn, but I mean in the future. One, two, three, four. Get rid of this guy. And we'll call it it. Alright. <clears throat> call it it. It feels so good. 
Well, this is just rude. But we do have Quarantine Field to get rid of Xenagos and Bloodbraid Elf. If we so desire. Uh, we can also attack Xenagos and keep... No, we can't do anything like that. Oh, what we can do... Teferi, plus Teferi, keep up Remand and Murderous Cut, have two blockers, and a Remand. I guess we said Remand. Teferi's at five. Playland? We did, okay. Blue and blue. Yeah. Double blue. happening here is getting countered do 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 easy game easy life mm, cloud skate seems decent here also spark double just uh getting rid of um putting a second tiffer on the board seems good I'm just gonna actually double block Rifty Boy or Bloody Boy. So if we can go to one here. One's not dead. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we get to untap and we have murderous cut next turn, so we can actually just keep the murderous go. Oh. oh wow. That's fascinating. Um oh boy. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana. And we can quarantine field. Keep up murderous cut. Spark double's almost free. Like, we can go Spark Double, Teferi. Teferi starts at, like, a million. Plus again. Play Dragon Slayer. We can get Godless Shrine. I think we're just getting planes here. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. I could always use one temper to tuck. And we still get five mana, which means. No, we get to Dragon Slayer, flip Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer's not gonna do anything, right? We have a lot of things to do. I don't think it's this. These two are out. I don't think we're waiting. I'm waiting, we're waiting on this. I think it's either I think it just might be Elspeth, but like. No, Teferi doesn't die, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we get to give up Elspeth, and if they try to kill. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We get to untap two for Murderous Cut. Uh, no, this one and this one, yeah. And if they try to Creeping Tarpet, we just kill it.
Living in the garbage can, Michael B. Oh yeah, this is what we wanted. It does feel necessary. Oh, they're adding a million mana. Am I going to go here? Yes, they are. That's good. But we do get to kill the Caribbean Tar Pit and... Maybe the Xenagoose? They have to get a white source here, which I'm... Pr I imagine they have a white source in their deck. Reflecting pool is not a white source. That's a white source, though. Okay, so let's see how they how they attack. I like the way you work it. This is probably going straight at Teferi to kill it. These two are going in El Elspeto. One, one, two, three, four. Yeah, sure, man, it's fine. Get him. So we can actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can do this for two. <clears throat> Let's draw a card, see what we hit. Okay, that's good because I don't want to take the damage. So, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, is this actually three? Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do three. One, two, three. Plus, plus. Sounds good. We could have also just attacked the Xenagos, but we really want to get the Golos off the board when they have uh, seven mana and all colors. Red, black, white, blue, green. Acidic Slime. Teferi. 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 Okay, this is unfortunate, but fine. I think we're still going to draw it. They have two cards in hand. Their Tefri is basically dead. We're going to one card in hand here. Rampant Growth. Okay. Still feel like we're doing okay here. Gotta deal with this guy though. I mean, we could bounce Golos. It might be our only option, to be quite honest. That's no good. Draw. Dreamy boy again. Also, Elspeth Ultimate's next turn, so that's a thing. Um. Bounce Golos hit Teferi is an option. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We can also spark double the Riftwing Cloudscape. I feel like that's what we kind of have to do here. One, two, three, four, five. Cast old Rift. Like we just this guy can't just just can't ultimate or just can't get activated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um Oh, shut up. <laughs> Got him. Attack. Teferi. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. They can make a six with the Xenagos. So if they actually have land, they can go land, Golos, and they have 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's 
do that. Sparky boy. Mm, actually, just gonna bounce that it goes here. That feels safer to me. Plus, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. This is twenty-one damage on board. If we ultimate all smooth. I know they have Xenagos and Golos. Double Oses in hand. Okay, five mana, six mana, seven mana. Apex Predator seems fucking amazing. Wonder about the ultimate and Elspeth. That is unfortunate. Okay, now they play Gola, uh, Xenagos as well. Make a gentleman. You got it. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot we were drawing that. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. We have 12 cards left in our deck? Sure. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <clears throat> I mean, their one card in hand is Golos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, yeah, he's just rubbing his face on a box right now. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we take 9. Got them. Got them. I mean, we might just want Deckenstone to get rid of things like Golos. Hidden Dragon Slayer was actually surprisingly useless there. Yeah, I think this is fine. You guys hear this cat just rubbing his face against this box? Get a second white here, so I guess we can get a Gala Shrine. Their deck is not super fast. <laughs> okay, well, sure. Since we're only getting a basic with this, I'd rather just have the Gala Shrine in play. Jeez. All right, fetch lands, I get it. What's the theme music for your life and why? Wow, that's, you ask these very obscure questions, J bro. That like, they take a good amount of time to think about and be like, well, hold on, let me figure that out. God, I just have no idea. Good old Lurus. Lurry McMurray. Well, we can Conclave Tribunal this Clothis next turn. 
theoretically. It's not This Is America. I don't, what, I don't even... I don't even know. I don't... What song is that? Oh, the Childish Gambino song? No, it's definitely not. But I mean, I do love... I do love some Donald Glover. <clears throat> Don't get me mistaken. What's the trophy count? Caleb just leveled up. I'm not catching anybody. I think it's like four, maybe three. Five. Oh, wow. I have five trophies. Wow. It's better than I thought. So next time we can go Dream Trawler and then we can go, or next time we can go Fact into Dream Trawler. Seems these. Oh, we could just play that, right? Let's do that. Yeah, get that scry on. But then they're just gonna have to replay it next turn, so they can't get they can't get be they can't get be flipping. They can't get be flipping. What does that mean? My trophies are mine. I've paid the iron cube price, and I do not sew. <laughs> good lord, man. Okay, well that's good because you get rid of the conclave tribunal, I guess. But then we get rid of Raska, so it's kind of a huh. Got a Luris. That's not bad, eh? Um, so just I'm just curious if I'm able to play Dream Trawler next turn. Uh if I'm able to copy a Dream Trawler next turn, that's good, right? I mean this doesn't strike me as a deck that's running like Day of Judgment, so. What will you do with all the cards you draw? I don't know, actually. Oh, let me think about it. I'll get back to you. Oh, man. That's nice. Wow. I'm so I'm so thrilled about that. I mean, you got Pels and Tefri, which is pretty good. Who is the magic pro personality that you most like to never have lunch with, and who, conversely, would you assemble for your super team in an eternal format? Wow. Okay, Niv Miz, it's hard to deal with. I mean, I'm pretty sure we actually just spark double the, the Riftwing Cloudscape, get rid of Niv Miz. It. Ugh. I don't love it. But then we can kill Vraska, which seems necessary. I definitely don't consider Jeremy Hambly a, a magic personality. Remand. That's even better. Good grief. Oh my god, that was so lucky. I'm on this PlayStation try to play a video game, but I just can't quit you. I appreciate it, buddy. I mean, I've done commentary with Marshall before. Yeah, I'm a good... I mean, Marshall's a good guy. Uh, Kai is also sweet, yeah. Is 
Is this a ninjutsu? Wow. What a time to be alive. <laughs> oh, antibody, good times, good times. This is an activated ability, right? I'm not like, I mean, I couldn't cast this if it wasn't, right? There'd be no target, so this is a target. I have what difference does it make by the smith stuck in my head. So they actually weren't that bad because they could actually Maelstrom Pulsed the, the Rift Wings. And then we just have this guy, which next turn they can play Niv-Mizzet. One, two, three. Yeah. No, they don't have a Black Source. Right? This is a Black Source. Black, red, blue, green. Yeah, they could have done that. I mean, they weren't dead. But... Mike B is Robin. He hoped you get a trophy in response to you too. He 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 said good luck and have fun and my re my response was you too. And also, yeah, I hope he gets a trophy too. I'm 1-1, one, one, so I can't get a trophy now, but like someone wishing me that I get a trophy, like I, that's fine. Like I'm doesn't doesn't have to be this one time, right? Mike B is definitely off the riddle. Antibody, thank you for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it, man. My biggest fear is like pausing the video to go to the bathroom or something and then coming back and then playing like a round or two and being like, oh shit, I forgot to unpause it. And then I have to go, I have to like download because then I have to download the entire like five hour stream from Twitch. And like... I have to then I have to load it into like a video editor and cut the the literal the, the the small portion out that I didn't uh that I didn't record and then I have to add that to the other portion that I did record and it's such a pain just because you forget to hit the record button again and that's the story of my life What's a hold up here? I just want to play my last round. Thanks. I 
I'm going to keep this hand just because of remand. A white source is good. A black source is fine. Oh, I mulligan to six. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's fascinating. Oh, boy. Oh boy, biscuits. Well, this is awkward. Wow, this is an amazing draw for a for a mulligan to six. Jesus. Just looking for a white source here. That's pretty rough. So now we just take a million. Two, three, four, five. We got a ten here. Hmm. Yeah, that seems legit. I think we're dead already. Oh yeah, big dead. We'll go to the next game. Uh, Q field for two is fine on these two, but like, we're still going to four, they still have active Liliana on board. I guess we could have played it out. Let's bring in Mirren Crusader and Deck in Stone. Let's take out Shitty Stratus Dancer. Clunky Gadwick. Hmm. Yeah, it seems fine. Definitely earn what's going on here. Oh, the game. My experience with early access indicates that it's 50 50 if this reflects the state of the final game at all. <laughs> I did. I was reading something. I was like, that's actually hilarious because I was like. Did the stream freeze? I don't know. You know what? I'll keep this on the play. Godless Shrine, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I'd rather actually get this guy suspended here. Read the bones doesn't do anything. We have plenty of things to play. How do I like to do Tef reactivations on both turns? I find I don't need to leap, loot that frequently, so... K-R-A-F-T. Let's go to our swamp here. If we hit a land and go elsewhere, that's pretty good. Seems good. Sure, this seems fine. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are down here. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Play this. Let's read some bones here. Um Bottom this, we'll keep the field. I don't actually think I care about this guy, so. Yeah, that's fine. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Oh, let's just play Dream Trawler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, that's not the card I wanted. Wow, I thought it was I thought we were scrying and I'm like, "Oh, I'll just put these on the bottom." And uh turns out we are not. That is not what we wanted. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. We can deal four. So I guess we're just playing search and keeping up the other thing. Yeah, this is fine. You're telling time at sorcery speed for one less mana, that's true. 
Yeah, that's definitely uh, an explanation of what happened there. <sighs> I think I'm just attacking with Grave Crawler because I can get him back. Yeah, we'll just take one here. Or two, rather. Yep, this guy's uh, got to go. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'll just keep this. Flip that guy. Play the land and we'll quarantine field for two. Yeah, we're just going to have to discard this either way, so. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Activate this. Attack your lily, attack your face, attack your face. Let's do it. One more round.
hand's a little rough. We're gonna keep it. This is three, four, five, three, four, six at least. Have all the colors we need: double blue, double white. So. Okay. Um, hmm. Teferi seems better here. I think we're just gonna play island to keep up disallow because we can't actually <laughs> murderous cut so Alright, we're surviving. Oh, that's a good one. So now we can murderous cut or we can quarantine field. I think I like keeping cut up a little bit better. Like we we cut one threat and then we can Teferi the next one, which is actually pretty decent. I'm just gonna take three here because we don't know what they're gonna play. And if they don't play anything, I'll probably just save it in Teferi. Or we can Teferi untap and murderous cut. Oh yeah, I'd much rather want to cut that thing. I agree with you about the Obliterator and Gary feels. Um, I kind of just want to keep up our man. That was a great draw. Plus, I do want to make sure I hit land drops. Look, we hit a land drop. So now our... What was I going to say? Now our quarantine field is for two, which is nice. <clears throat> oh yeah, we're remanding that for sure. So now we can actually play Spellskite, Spark Double to Teferi, and uh, sack the Spellskite to the stupid Elder Spell. Two Teferi seems pretty strong. Or we can do that. Let's draw a card. I think second Teferi has to be correct, right? Oh, well, we sack Spellskite. That's, hmm. You know what? Sure. Teferi. Tuck this dude. Play spell skype.
That's f obnoxious. Oh, we know it's not. We have spell skite. <laughs> oh, that's really good, actually. Oh, man. If they try to remove the counters, then we just redirect a spell skite. That's real good. Mind shatter for two. That's fine. Wow, those are the two worst ones. So their one card is Elder Spell. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll get busy trolling. Oh, that'll do. 2 1. Jojo MKE, thank you so much for the support and the stip. Really appreciate it. Hopefully, that was enough movement for you. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankfloormanagers.com. Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. And uh, nordvpn.org slash franklapore. And I will see you guys thank next you. time. Antibody, thank you for another gifted sub. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> I'll see you next time.